first of all, when me and Monte was in high school, I, I okay, this is what I'm finna tell you. I used to, I followed him. I followed him. I said, oh shit, he DJing the car. He did. He DJing the uh, homecomings. He DJing the, you know, the house parties and motherfucker asking him. I said, damn, I wanna. I'm, that's the shit I'm on. Cause I was running away from my dad. Mm. I, as long as I got out my dad's face and found some positive to do, I was happy with it. Mm. So I saved my money to go buy me two turntables mm-hmm. and to go fuck with Monte. Okay. Okay. Monte was on 1079. Jelly was on V103. Still to this day. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. First of all, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I was running away from home and I went and stayed with Monte. Mm. Okay, Monte didn't know, Monte knew me. And I'm going to keep saying it now because I am how much I love him because I'm just telling you how the shit really went down. And I hate that people put out shit and then they make a character out of somebody else that's not there. That's not it. That's not me. Yeah. Well, yo, for the record, for what I did, it wasn't nothing. It was. I think I think what you feel is that your story was left out and that's why it's important to get you on here to tell it. I don't feel like Monte ever had any um was trying to just take all the credit for or nothing. I think he was just kind of telling his story and that was just a little Can part I ask of his you a story. Question? Yeah. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What for I th- his unk. When you asked him about unk, when you said unk, you said it twice. You he did two interviews with him. I got. I ain't, it's not next. Yeah. I'm just saying, when you brought it up the second time, you said people be in my DMs, and I was. You said, well, I I was only asking you. No, but it, when I said that to do an interview, that's all I was asking you to do. I didn't say nothing. Cry said, why the people doing these whack ass interviews and they not speaking highly of me because I saved their lives. Right. That's why he's eating. yeah. But I don't think I don't. I think ain't got no problem. Did not know. Okay. I don't think no. I think and everybody's perspective your perspective is true to you i just feel like um how you took it because what you're about to say because i don't even want to interrupt your story because what you about to say is going way fucking deep to that he was like your mentor in high school and that it sounded like you was going to say that you was living with him and now for for an interview with me and him for him to kind of maybe you feel like you he breezed over your name you feel like yo it's way deeper than that you know what i'm saying which i definitely you live it blunt i ain't tripping yeah it was, just blunt. it was just like a blunt conversation and i was like well if i'm sitting there every day mm-hmm. every day you call me every day you say i'm coming on the, i'm on the way to pick you up mm-hmm. every time you say hey i got some niggas fucking with me every time you say i'm 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 i was there Nobody else wasn't there. Nobody on the label was there. Nobody. 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 Monte got 34, 40 guns. I ain't shot now one of them motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. At the shoe range, yeah. I ain't tripping out none of that. But I'm talking about being real because I'm trying to teach him how to be a family person. I bought his kid shit for Christmas. Did not buy my kid shit at all. Oh, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. I ain't, I'm just saying, showing you the mm-hmm. difference of I'm different from a different cloth. Mm-hmm. So I see you ain't like that. I'm still, I'm, I'm now, I'm just, we just working. The Progress Report.